All right, so here's the uh, answers or the, the video for the electrostatic table. And so here we've got big Q, which is the charge creating an electric field, little Q, which is the test charge, F, which is the force, E, which is the electric field intensity, and then D, which is the distance. And so for calculating these, the things that are in color here are the things that were blank on your practice. And uh, remember that we can always find the uh, electric field strength by taking the force divided by test charge ratio. So that means to find this strength here, or the intensity, we can divide, or uh, we do force divided by test charge. So like in this case, that'd be 0.2 newtons divided by one times 10 to the minus six. And 0.2 divided by one is uh, going to be 0.2. And then you take the reciprocal with the scientific notation, and you end up with 0.2 times 10 to the minus sixth, which then resolves to 2. I said that wrong. It's point, it would have been 0 0.2 times 10 to the positive 6, which then resolves to 2 times 10 to the positive 5. And so that's where we get those from. And the same thing is true for all of these. Uh, you're basically given two of the three parts of the E equals F over Q equation and you just have to solve for the other one. The only place where you don't get that is down here. And so it says here the values in red can be any number provided that the F divided by Q force over test charge ratio is equal to the E value. And so, for instance, here, if the value was eight times 10 to the positive five, then we could substitute in anything here that would work. So I've taken a force just from this one above and I used it again and the number that I'd have to have here for the test charge would be something that gets me this electric field intensity what number could I plug into the equation to get that 8 times 10 to the minus 6 but I could have chosen something else I could have made this say 0.2 and then what times 0.2 gets me this well I could have put 4 because 4 times 2 is 8 and so that would have given me the uh, the same answer. Um, I think I said that right. Uh, hopefully you get the idea. Any two numbers that go in here that make the ratio work would work just fine. Oh no, I did say that wrong. So this would have had to be, if I made this 0.2, this would also have to be two times bigger, right? Because 0.2 is twice as big as 0.10. So this would have had to be, had been, um, Let's see, it would have been 16 times 10 to the minus 6, or properly written, that would have been 1.6 times 10 to the minus 5, and that could be 0.2, and then you'd still get that, that same answer. So that's, that's the general idea. Uh, here's a breakdown down here, uh, it's just some written uh, words with how to find these things. So if you want, you can pause the video and just read this, and that'll get you the idea.